The 2000s was a huge franchise decade. My personal favorite franchise, Air Bud, a dog that plays basketball and other various sports. Get out of here. You're a wizard, Harry. I'm a what? Do I wish I went to Hogwarts? Absolutely. Who doesn't want to fly? It seems like you could Google a lot of the spells that they learn. It's just a word and a little flick. I would just be at home YouTubing wizard spells. Save some money. I would do online Hogwarts. You don't live if you didn't have a wizard crush, especially a wizard crush. Not on Harry Potter, but on Ron. I feel gross saying that, but he's a grown-up now, so I can say that kind of stuff. I've had a huge wizard boner on a lot of people. They're all kind of nerds. Like Malfoy was the sexiest one in the group, but you know, I don't want Malfoy. <laughs> if I can put a wizard spell on someone, I'd put it on my cheating ex-boyfriend. I'd make him have bad breath. I would put a spell on myself to make my boobs bigger. I feel like that would benefit everybody, so I would definitely just like boop boop, work that out. Go and and beyond! Oh, Toy Story! Oh, I love Toy Story! I love Toy Story. I love, 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 love Toy Story. Oh my god, best three movies of all time. I think I've cried in every single Toy Story I ever made. That is my jam. Woody could get it. Woody can get it. The third one, I thought they were gonna die at the end. I was crying in the theater, I was like, this is how they end it? This is how they end Toy Story? I'm all about Woody. I'm saying I love me some Woody. Love me some Woody. Love me some Woody. <laughs> That sounds so wrong. I was terrified of my toys after I watched Toy Story because I was convinced they came to life like when I was gone. My sister and I always used to be like, do you think they really come alive when we leave the room? We never caught any of them. My sister would put our Barbies in different positions and then convince me that they were moving. Growing up, I just thought my Barbies had minds of their own. My favorite character was Woody. I really like the dog and I don't even remember his name. Slink is cool too, I love Slink. I couldn't rank them, that's like picking your favorite child. It's just horrible, it's like you're going to college, you're gonna live in a dumpster. I could never do that. The Etch-a-Sketch, because he didn't say very much, which I appreciated, and he could just like, you know, erase everything. And he also was like, he was the vessel of information, so he would like write what was going on, let everybody know, and then like, peace out. I'm Captain Jack Sparrow. Not sure I deserve it. Yes! I love pirates. I have no idea what it was about. Pirates of the Caribbean, wow. Johnny Depp plays pirate man. Captain Jack Sparrow. Jack Sparrow. Captain Jack Sparrow. Duh. Pirate, Pirate Pete. That's Johnny Depp's character. The first one I think is amazing, and then they all kind of blend together. I continue to watch them because they're pirates and they're hot. I have no idea what happened. I have no idea who was on sea, who wasn't, who had a peg leg. I do know that Johnny Depp was in it. I liked his like, I'm gay, but I'm not thing with like the dreads. Just did it for me. I think people just care about Johnny Depp. Everyone's like, oh, he's so hot, and I'm just like, I can care less. It's because he's a pirate that people are like, oh my god, I love pirates. No, you love Johnny Depp. Calm down. It didn't start a pirate fetish, but it did start a homeless fetish. Johnny had like those dreads, and you see those homeless guys with those dreads, and you're like, mm, I like the way you work it. No diggity. I got the bag. I stopped showering for like two months after the film came out and did not have sex with anyone. Not attracted to wizards, not attracted to pirates. Attracted to normal people. Pirates are not normal, they're also scary. I really like men with two legs and like no eye patches. It's kind of my thing, so like no hipsters. Say it. Vampire. Are you afraid? No. Oh. No, oh, God. Oh, Twilight. I love Twilight. My favorite. No, I haven't seen him. I secretly love Twilight. I think Edward's a hottie in like, I'm a bad guy that's gonna ruin your life kind of way. And I think girls like that. The thing about Twilight that made it such a big hit was this idea of eternal love and not getting sick of each other. Also rough sex. I kind of have vampire teeth if you look. Some people have told me that's the only reason I'll ever be successful. I think Team Edward says, I like bad boys. I like guys that my parents will hate. I like guys that could possibly kill me. When you like Jacob, it's like, I'm a vegan. Edward kind of starts off like stalking her and like being really creepy and he's kind of always really creepy. And then their sex relationship is like really violent. Even I was like, Beds were broken, glass windows were shattered. I don't know, it's awkward. The whole thing is kind of ridiculous just because you never know what the hell they're saying. I mean, you have Edward that's like, Bella, and then Bella's like, oh my God, Edward, and that's just really what they sound like the whole time. <laughs> The 
coolest thing about being a mutant is the powers. Everything else sucks. They get like put in concentration camps and like hunted down. And they're also all sexy. There's no like average Joe mutant, you know? It's always like a model or just like, ah, please kill me. If I had mutant power, I think I would want to be like invincible. I would Alex Mack the sh out of myself, turn to putty and slip through doors and then reappear. Uh, Thought about that a lot. Oh, I'd want to read people's minds. That would be the coolest thing ever. Teleporting, obviously. Is there anyone that doesn't want to do that? For example, right now, I could be like, oh my God, look, I'm over here. And then I could be like, oh, wait, no, I'm not. I like Storm just cause she can just like F it up. Kitties, she can walk through walls. Although I think it defeat the purpose of my Fitbit cause then I wouldn't get in my 10,000 steps. Um, werewolf. The werewolf one. <laughs> I don't know if this is working. <laughs> Cyclops is always like, don't hit on my girl, don't hit on my girl. Pew, 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 don't leave my girl alone. Pew, my glasses, where's my glasses? You definitely need some Tic Tacs or something because your breath stinks. Shrek, yes. Oh my God, amazing. Oh, my mom's favorite. Shrek really made us girls think about our expectations for men. <laughs> They don't all have to be cute. Fiona fell in love with Shrek and I think it was so cute. It was forced upon me in my childhood because my mom was so into it. We had to go see it at the theater numerous times, including on Thanksgiving. I don't think I could see anybody else playing Shrek. I don't think so. I could never see like Jim Carrey, like Will Ferrell playing Shrek. I could always see like Mike Myers. I can see anybody in the world playing Shrek besides Mike Myers because it's just a voice. You do like a good Scottish accent and automatically you're Shrek in my book. Oh no, no. The way Mike Myers says donkey, donkey. No one else can do that. That's his thing. Before Mike Myers got the role, someone else was actually cast to play Shrek. I think Justin Bieber was originally cast to play Shrek. No one did anything to me. Yes, 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 someone hurt you so bad. Someone hurt you many years ago. Leave my parents out of this. Oh my God. Really? Get the hell out. Oh, oh I love Chris Farley. That's so weird. It's so weird. It doesn't sound like Shrek. I like that Shrek has an accent. I'm sorry, like rest in peace. I love me some Chris, love him. But yeah, Mike Myers. Click to the left to watch us try some weird baby and Jays on cheese. Each day or click to the right to see J-Law's rise to fame on Throwback.